All right, so now we're going into chapter three on the review. And so they're gonna give you some statements, P, Q, R, and S are listed above, and they want you to write that first statement symbolically. So you find the statement that says one um, is not a guitar player. We don't have that exactly, but we do have Q, which says one is a guitar player. And so we're gonna write that statement, and then the word not is gonna put a negation sign in front. For this next one, you have to remember that this um, relationship, all are, so quantifiers are a little bit harder to negate. Some are not, and this comes out of section 3.1, and then we have none are, and then we have some are. So when it says some drinks are not liquids, then we would use this right here, this um, route, and so we would say no drinks are liquids, okay? Um, we're not going to say none drinks because that's grammatically not correct, but none, no drinks are liquids. Now we have um, the statement, no fifth graders play soccer, and you're going to negate it that says, um, you know, the opposite, so we have no fifth graders are, um, no fifth graders play soccer, then I would say, um, then I would say some fifth graders play soccer. Now, in your answers, they say at least one fifth grader plays soccer. We didn't really do a lot of that, so I would say the more correct answer for our um, here is that, you know, if they have that as an option, you want to think of some uh, fifth graders play soccer. And so, you know, if that option is not available, then that means at least one, because that would be some, at least one plays um, soccer. Okay, and so now we're going to write in symbolic form, given these next statements, knowing, you know, our negation symbol, our and symbol, our or symbol, our if and then, um, if then, and our if and only if, okay? So Tosca is an opera, that's P, and that symbol is this right here, Carmen is an opera, and that would be Q. And so remember, guys, a lot of times that you, when you did this, if you miss these problems, a lot of times you just gave me the symbol of and, but you have to have the letters of the statements in order to get correct. You cannot just put this symbol. That is incorrect. You have to have the letters, okay? All right, so she drives at 80 miles per hour, that's P, or the symbol for or is a um, V looking symbol. She gets a speeding ticket, which is Q, okay? Now it says, if this is not a brontosaurus, so the negation of um, this is a brontosaurus would be squiggle P, and the if then has to follow that statement, which is a single sided arrow, then this is not a dinosaur, which would be not Q. Look for those things, guys, where we have um, parentheses and a bunch of statements after the parentheses, um, which it would include after the comma. So the, if the outside humidity is high, which would be P, and then, okay, and all of this right here is following the then. So that means we need parentheses. The basement dehumidifier is running, which is Q, or the basement um, is not getting moldy. So that would be not R. And it's very important that you have the parentheses around those two, okay? Now, if you have to fill in a truth table, you remember that the opposite of the negation, that's the easiest. So if true, you have a statement that's true, the opposite would be false. If you have a statement of false, the opposite would be true. And then the or, the or is only false when both 
are false. So if I have true or false, that's true. If I have false or true, that is true. Then we go down to this next one and we have the P's and the Q's. So I'm gonna do the negation first. The opposite of P becomes false, false, true, true. Taking all of these and making it the opposite. And then I'm doing the opposite of Q, which becomes false, true, false, true. Taking the opposite of those and making it there. And then I'm going to look at the or between these two statements. And so the only time an or is false is when they're both false. So the first one is the only one that is false. Okay. Now you have to construct your own truth table. So um, I'm actually going to write down this on a new um, sheet of paper so that you guys have a better um, picture of your truth table because this one doesn't give you the truth table. So let me um, go here and let's do a new. And I'm going to write, this is the statement that I have to give, the negation of P or Q, and then I'm gonna do and the negation of P, okay? So I'm gonna be given my P's and my Q's, and then I'm gonna have to do, um, I'm gonna do P or Q, and then I'm gonna do the and, and then I'm gonna do negate P. Okay, so this is kind of the table that you're going to have to fill out. And remember, you will be given true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to do the or statement. Oops, I forgot something. Sorry, I need to negate that. So let's do this. Let's add a column here. Sorry. Um, let's go back. I need to negate this. Then I'm going to have the and. And then I'm going to have the negation of P. All right, so now let's go. Okay, so we're going to do the or between these two. Okay, so that's going to be true. The or between that one's going to be true. The or between that one's going to be true. And this one is going to be false. Then I'm going to, whoops, I cannot seem to write this correctly here. So I've got P or Q, and then I'm going to negate it. So now I'm going to make everything in this column the opposite. So it becomes false, false, um, false. And true. So I'm going to do double arrows here since that's not All right. Then I'm going to come back over here to P and I'm going to negate everything in P. So that becomes false, false, true, true. And now I'm going to do the ands. And remember, I'm going to change colors here. The and is only true when both are true, okay? So I'm gonna highlight what I'm actually looking at. I'm looking at this and this. These are what I'm looking at when I'm doing the and. So the only one that is true is gonna be this last one. And this is false, and this is false, and this is false, okay? So that was number 30. Now we're going to go to number 31. Let's make that table right here. And 31 says you're going to negate P if then, and then you're going to negate, it looks like you're going to negate Q. I think that's a squiggle. Maybe not. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's a negate 
um, Q. Let me see. It's kind of hard to see that negation on um, that last one. So let me see. Negate um, this. Yeah, you are going to negate Q. So it's kind of uh, hard to see that squiggle, okay? So when you're doing this, the chart that you're going to make is you're going to have your P's and Q's, which are going to be given to you, okay? Then you're going to want to make the negation of P. And then you're going to want to do the single arrow. And then you're going to want to do the negation of Q, okay? So, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. That's going to be given to you. Okay, so then we're going to do the opposite of everything in P, which makes it false, false, true, true. Okay, and then we're going to do the opposite of everything in Q, which becomes false, true, false, true. Okay, now my table looks a little bit different, but your answer is what you're looking for right here. And that's when, if the if and then, okay, it's only false when you start with a true and end with a false. Because remember, that's breaking your promise. So if I start with a false, uh, start with a true and end with a false, that's going to be my false. Um, answer. Okay. And so then everything else will be true. All right. We'll do one more before we get into chapter. Um, I think it's chapter five. And so this one, we're looking at the original problem looks like this. The negation of P double arrow if and only if the negation of Q, okay? So when I make my chart, I'm gonna have P's and Q's given to me. Then I'm gonna negate P. I'm gonna have the double arrow, and then I'm gonna negate Q, okay? So we're going to do P's and Q's are given in this format. Then I will negate P, so false, false, true, true. Then I will negate Q, which becomes false, true, false, true. And then the double arrow is only true when both values are the same, okay? So I'm looking for two F's or two T's. So, whoops, let's change that to purple. So this one would be true, and this one would be true, and these two would be false, okay? And that's gonna be the answer. So their table looks a little bit different in the answers, but that's the column that you're looking for is the last column, and that is the same. All right, so that finishes up chapter three.